Test, test, test. Test? Okay, I think I see that. I don't know, guys. Thanks for bearing with me as we deal with the remote technology issues. I'll go to the headset, the tried and true technology. So, I, you know, I spent all this time hooking up all these wires and stuff for these remote things. And, ah, okay. So, thanks for bearing, uh, bearing with me as we got this. Uh, we'll just use the headset. Uh, go tried and true Bose headset. Let's just get to the content. I don't want to wait too much longer here. Like, I feel like we've already taken way too much time on that. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for everybody in the chat and helping me tech uh, and figure out the tech sound issues as we go. Uh, I just wanted to make one uh, thing is that is if you've never been here before from domain to profit.com is uh, our domain is our website. So if you're not on the notification list, always please join that. Uh, we send out an email each Monday morning just to kind of remind you like, hey, shows today. Just check it out, uh, as well as you can follow me on uh, Twitter as well. Drew Wash is the user handle. And I just kind of, as I was on this page, I really, you know, it's like, I don't know if I've ever really talked about uh, what it is that I've done. You probably know that I own towing.com, which is uh, part of how I started this whole domain journey. 
And uh, I just kind of wanted to show, like, it, we do what we did with towing.com. We tried on numerous other websites, including helicopter rides, movingcompanies.com, djs.com, bodyguards.com, photobooths.com. Uh, we, we bought a bunch of domains in 2020 uh, for the purpose of developing them out as well. Bartenders.com, uh, tourguides.com, which I, part of what I talk about on the show occasionally is just this idea that uh, you start with whatever project you can to learn and just kind of put your teeth into and uh, learn to code, load the market, you know, to be able to build something and then hopefully make a little bit of money off of it. Uh, the money is kind of secondary in those early phases. And then once you do that, you know, as you kind of just get your get your motor running, get your uh, profit going, then you kind of say start getting that confidence and going, you know, I can try bigger things or I can move towards industries that I want to work in. For me, I like travel. I like, uh, you know, having a drink and I like just, well, a good time. So that's why you see nowadays us starting to move towards, you know, DJs and bartenders and more towards the, the fun, the entertainment industries. It's because we want to, you know, so those industries are much smaller. Towing.com is our bread and butter. Uh, but anyhow, so uh, if you've never signed up on From Domain to Profit, join us uh, Join us there as well. So now I will pull us over to expireddomains.net. This is the homepage of the site. If you do not have an account here, if you've never used this site, uh, I'm just kind of wondering what it is that you do. Like what site do you use other than this site? Uh, I'd love to know, but realistically, it's a great site. It allows you to uh, search through hundreds of thousands of domain names that are uh, expiring or dropping, which is another way of saying expiring if you're not a uh, domain lingo person. Basically, if you own a domain name and you decide to, for whatever reason, not renew that domain name, maybe you just forgot, maybe you just you know, chose to not renew it. In that case, that domain name goes through a pending you know period of time where you can renew it. And then after that, it goes to the drop. So it gets dropped. In cases where if you have a domain name with GoDaddy, uh, those domains go to an auction first before they're ever dropped. And if you have a domain with, heaven forbid you have a domain with network solutions, if you're old school, you might have one with network solutions, uh, which in my opinion, you should not. Please move your domains. Yeah, that's, that's my opinion. Founded on many, many transactions. I just don't like them. Anyhow, uh, so... <laughs> Uh, but their domains, for example, I believe go out to snapnames.com. Uh, they will go through an auction before they ever go to the drop. And then if by chance it goes to the drop, uh, you can uh, do a back order with Snap Names. They will try to get things from the drop of other registrars, as well as uh, going over here, you can you want to do a back order with, um, who am I thinking? Dropcatch, Dropcatch, yeah, Dropcatch.com. They grab domains that are dropping before anyone else can because they just run those, they have these basically a bunch of servers just sitting around trying to register the domain name. They get it first and in turn, then they put it up for auction and share them, well, not share them, sell them to the highest bidder. So uh, where we spend most of our time for these for this show is right here in the GoDaddy auctions. Uh, the GoDaddy expired auctions, so unexpired domains went to marketplace domains. GoDaddy expired, GD expired is what that stands for. Uh, you can also do snap names pre-release. That's another one to, that's really good to search through, as well as looking to the domains on drop, catch. Those are all good. three great places to look. Uh, you'll find that GoDaddy by far has the most. You can see here a total of expired domains over 500,000 just with GoDaddy itself. And we're going to filter those out. So I'm going to set up my filters. Uh, for the sake of development is what we talk about on this show. And because of that, I set up my domain, uh, my parameters. I filter, I get rid of the numbers. Uh, there's, it's just not something you can develop on number domains. Uh, they're big in Asia, uh, number domains are, but it's just not for me. Get rid of hyphens, that is old school. Nobody does hyphens anymore. Uh, there's very few occasions where uh, you want to keep a hyphen. Uh, we keep a hyphen. We own heavyduty.com, both without a hyphen and with a hyphen, because traditionally 
like I think it's supposed to have a hyphen, but nobody enters it in. So we luckily have both. Uh, then I go and I select English, one to three words. Of course, if you're registering Spanish words or whatever else, you can use other languages, which uh, secondary languages are, well, that's just rude. Uh, to me, what I consider secondary languages, not English, uh, but to you, maybe your primary language, uh, absolutely dive in. I just, realistically, I don't know Spanish. I don't know German. I'll get myself in trouble if I try to dive into somebody else's uh, language. So I don't do it. I think it's Warren Buffett. He says, you know, invest in what you know. Like, don't don't try to uh, invest in something that you don't know. So make sure you know what the heck you're doing. Use a language that makes sense to you. Ends in one to eight days. So we're just trying to make sure that we're getting all the domain names between now. And actually, we can, I don't know if it'll let me just leave that blank, but we'll go between now, minimum, all the way up to eight days, which would be possibly before next Monday show. And then we're going to go to this additional tab. We select .com because .com is where it is at. And if you're building to develop, which that's why you're here, uh, you're buying to develop, well, you're going to want the .com. You can do it on secondary domain names. Uh, by secondary, I'm talking .net, .io, .co, uh, .any of those other things. However, .com is the main one. You're always going to be kicking yourself if you develop something amazing on a non.com domain. You're going to be like, yes, I'm doing great with this business. But realistically, uh, if you don't have the .com, you're always going to wish you had the .com. So, and you may end up having to pay a fortune to get it. So, as of this point, we're just going to go right down through the uh, expired domain name. So as of this point, I'm going to be looking quite a bit at the screen and uh, video review. Uh, let me try to zoom in here because I know that could be small for you. Now I'm blocking. Now my face is blocking the domains. My face is not important enough for that. Let's move me over here. <laughs> I'm such a kid with technology and all this stuff. Okay. Thanks for bearing with me as I do all this stuff. I I, I do this show because I love this. So hopefully that shows up. Uh, the solution, it sounds like uh, like the, the NBA version of The Rock, you know. Anyhow, if you get it, you get it. Uh, VideoReview.com, that could be an interesting domain name, uh, possibly marketing review. I, who wants their videos to be reviewed? You put a video out in the public, realistically, they're going to tear it apart. Uh, so why would you pay somebody to do it? I don't know. But it, basically, I'm sure there's reasons that you would want somebody to professionally review a, a video, or maybe you can get testimonials. That's on the angle. So if you want testimonials for something, uh, you can submit it to videoreview.com and maybe people, okay, yeah, here's an angle. Uh, realistically, we love to see faces and testimonials and videoreview.com is a service that allows businesses to uh, easily get video reviews from customers. You send them out a link, they click it, it says, you know, click here to go to record your video records it and uploads it to the service and attaches their customer information to it. And videoreview.com is set up to submit a videoreview.com. Let's hope it is actually up and going for auction. Oh, see there. Okay, so here's another lesson for us. We see this one pretty frequently. Basically what's happened here is the person renewed the domain name. So this domain name is not actually expiring you lose your gold star, video review, removed. Absolution.com, eh, I don't know. A pretty good domain name, a uh, little bit too generic. Not going to go with it for today. Retirement benefits, I, maybe if you're, you know, I, I know that I try to go for bartenders and, and fun, uh, fun industries that I'm excited about. Maybe you deal with retirement. Somebody has to. And retirement benefits, even though I there's I couldn't spell that, probably I'll type it and get it wrong half the time. Uh, but retirementbenefits.com certainly could be a 
resource for that. Cannabis extraction. Not sure if anybody is uh, is actually searching for that. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, my I say brother from another mother. Uh, Peter asked you, he mentioned employment guide is actually a trademark term. Not 100% sure how such a generic term gets trademarked, but supposedly somebody, it is trademarked. So uh, even though this is for auction, one of the warnings that you got to have when you're looking at domain names is part of why I don't mess with brandable domains is trademarks can matter. So somebody might already have a trademark on it and essentially render your domain name uh, pointless. So I'm clicking on that just to see, okay, evidently, oh, that probably just ended actually. It probably ended at three o'clock. So if I'm not mistaken, that was going for a few thousand dollars. Senior advisors, ooh, boatslip.com. Isn't that what they call like uh, a spot in a marina? Gone, my goodness. Maybe I need to refresh this list. Although we just refreshed it when we added the parameters. Buy antiques. Let's click on it before I talk about it. Okay, let's see here. Buyantiques.com. Uh, I mean, uh, for the love of goodness, I doubt people want to buy antiques from a website. However, they would probably love to know where they can buy antiques. So this is a great opportunity for uh, location-based service. Say you're looking for some kind of specific antique, maybe a uh, a hutch or something, or uh, there's a company that I, in Cincinnati, that will go to old historical bars and remove their giant bars, like those back parts to the, to an actual bar, and then they sell them. They put a lot of time and effort into getting these things out, this great woodwork and stuff, and then they sell them. Uh, Buyantiques.com could like be a search engine for, maybe you're looking for a bar, you type that in, and it shows you the different locations where they say that they sell antique bars and stuff like that. Uh, that is a good one. And um, I'm going to log in, bring up my screen so I can enter in my password without everybody seeing what I'm doing. But I am going to go ahead and put a bid in on buyantiques.com. So let's see here. Uh, used to try to do a score. What What is Buy Antiques? If you can get buy antiques for, uh, let's see here. Clicking around. Once I log in here, I'll, I'll come back and show you what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Sharing screen again. So if you can get buy antiques for, I would say if you can get that for like 688, that's going to be a great domain all day. You can see over here that GoDaddy estimate, which doesn't mean a ton, uh, is forty five hundred. It's just a good starting point, good opportunity to know uh, when a uh, kind of an idea of how you compare a domain name. I would think that it's easily could retail higher than uh, forty five hundred, which is why I'm going to at least get in on this action. Do a traditional one eighty eight bid. That's kind of my I'm interested, but not uh, that interested. So there you go. If you want to bid me up, jerks, <laughs> don't bid me up. But if you do love it, go for it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a going out to, is antique spelled right? It looks a little funky. I'm the world's worst speller though. Antiques. I think that's that's how you would do it. So here's the thing. There's only 100, uh, 1,600 exact match searches is what this is showing. And then uh, cost per click, $1. Uh, general rule of thumb is, you know, it, you can probably kind of retail that domain uh, for a couple thousand dollars based on that. So not nothing too special. I probably would reduce my 688. You'd probably want to be able to get that for 450 or so for it to be worth a darn. Uh, so, okay, buy who buys antiques near me? That's people that are looking to sell. Uh, but that's a good thing to know. Like people selling, you create the market. You can create that idea of uh, I have this item. Who wants to buy it? And maybe antique dealers even put in bids or something. Could be interesting. Okay, so there you go. Buyantiques.com. I'm already in on that domain. Uh, certainly an interesting. How would you do it? How would you develop buyantiques.com? I love 
local stuff. I think it's, we think of domains where like, oh, it presents an opportunity for the world to somehow interact with a local business. Uh, like for example, me, if I ran a business and I bought antiques and I ran buyantiques.com, it's like, yeah, I have this great global presence. But what I love about domain names in developing them especially is you can share that domain name with lots of people, hundreds or potentially thousands of people that will pay you a small monthly fee or a small percentage to uh, allow you to, to basically participate in your domain name. They see that domain name as valuable as well. And all you're doing is just asking for a taste, a little taste, a little taste of things. So there we go. <laughs> okay. uh, we got to show you that that's that's a good one yeah thanks for outbidding me just kidding uh, yeah uh well there you go uh but yeah great domain name and jason shepherd uh a really great a uh, freaking rock star domainer so when you see him saying stuff uh and you know you got to know it's a good domain name did I met Jason back when I bought DJs.com at I think our both of our first names cons. Is that our first ones? I think so. So you should follow him over on Twitter as well. If you're not active on Twitter and you're interested in domains in general, certainly check it out. Okay, let's get to some domains. Cognitive design. Man, that sounds pretty cool. I don't really know what you do with it, but that sounds like something that would matter. Buyboats.com. I don't like buy boats as much as I like buy antiques, but let's see here. 21 hours left on that. Let's see what uh, buy antiques was two days left. So tomorrow is when buyboats.com ends. I might have mentioned buy boats last week, in fact. Uh, $3,100. You're not going to see me jumping in on that. It's probably worth it. Uh, if you're going to develop it, and this is one of the great things about development. If you love an industry and you know you're going to develop it, put your blood, sweat, and tears into it, investors cannot touch the price that you can pay for a domain name. Just a fact. Like when I bought bartenders.com, uh, a lot, you know, investors are like, who the hell would pay $51,000 or whatever for bartenders.com? And well, this guy, because I want to do something with it. I want to. I want to freaking develop this out and I'm really wanting to do something like, so that's who, but when it's a developer, it's kind of like, okay, 51,000. Well, if I get, uh, if I can get just, uh, you know, what, a couple thousand dollars a month pays for itself in a couple of years, uh, a few, uh, it was probably 20 shows ago. I put together a little bit of a formula showing how you can value domains as an investor. I don't have that formula in front of me. I'm remote, so I'm not going to attempt to, reproduce it basically look at your market see who all would be interested in advertising or using that domain name and then you can uh price out uh figure out what it, what you can make your domain on the what you can make my goodness what you can buy a domain at based on reasonable amounts of sale of sales your sales would be your revenue your revenue and profit will be what determines whether you buy the domain name. Hope that all makes sense. I love talking in riddles to myself. Okay. And yeah, Jason mentioned that, yes, it was his first names con as well. So good stuff. But yeah, that was, that was a, that was a blast. Anytime you have to go and you're, uh, when I got DJs.com, I uh, set up financing and stuff because I knew it was going to be a six-figure domain name. And uh, we set up financing through our bank, which is uh, first financial. They're getting too big for their britches nowadays, but they used to be this nice little regional bank, bank right in Cincinnati. And they would really provide some, just they were aggressive. They would be willing to, finance domain names and it was really cool. I, I really appreciated them. They got us towing.com and the DJs.com and we have a line, you know, set up all of our lines and credits and line of credits and stuff, all based on domain names. They know what we do. So market builder, like these are some great domains. I, I don't even know what the 
Uh, Guru Center, not a big fan of that, but Market Builder, it's probably more of a brandable. Nursing Experts, again, that's probably a brandable. Craft Social, Safe Shooter, sounds like a like a product. You'd probably want to trade check, do a trademark pin, uh, search on that one, which actually... Anybody interested in seeing how to do a trademark search, uh, a basic one? I'm going to go ahead and do that. So um, U.S. trademark search. So if you Google U.S. trademark search, it's going to bring you to the United States Patent and Trademark Office, uh, this, this website here, uspto.gov trademark search. And when you get here, uh, you might think you can just do a search up here or whatever. No, you have to go into their uh, old school search which is this here, and uh, you can do a basic word search. And for the most part, in most cases, this is all you need to do to get just an idea of whether a domain name or a keyword or keyword phrases have a trademark on them. Uh, so what was the domain name we were talking about? Um, employment guide, I believe is what it was. So let's see if we could see that. Uh, so employment guide. Oh, okay. Here's what uh, Peter's talking about. Employmentguide.com is a live trademark for the actual domain name. And uh, standard character mark. Basically, you read about this and you're if you're going to put a bunch of money into stuff, you're always going to want to get a lawyer to look at your trademark. But a simple search, like in this case, you did a search. You see that there's trademarks for this. Now you can weigh that into whether you put thousands of dollars into that domain name. Uh, trademark searches are super simple. Now the simple search is not going to give you any insight into whether it, it, it doesn't. It's not a lawyer. It's just going to give you some basic information. So you'll have to go and Google all these different things. So for example. A standard character mark, there's standard character marks, there's generic marks, there's different kinds of marks. Some marks are more defendable than others. My whole thing with trademarks is this. A trademark, it doesn't matter if you will eventually win a trademark lawsuit. If you register that domain name, and yes, you may be able to invalidate their trademark. The only thing is, it's going to cost you a fortune to do it. So is it worth a few hundred thousand dollars to uh, invalidate that trademark? You have to kind of weigh that into, is that domain name that good? So that's one of the things about a trademark that is helpful is if you see a trademark associated with a domain name, you can kind of weigh into it. Is this domain name good enough to, uh, to be worth invalidating the trademark? Assuming it is invalidated, you may not be able to get invalidated. So uh, without stepping on too many lawyer shoes, but uh, when you've been sued enough, if you're in business long enough, you will have lawsuits and you'll, you'll learn some of this stuff. So top guides, I actually love that a lot. I'm going to click on that one. Boom, topguides.com. This one's seam. I love it because it's a, it sounds like travel. So this one's going to end in four days. 140 days is the current one. I'm going to put my hat in the ring on this one. So topguides.com, uh, there's so many different things you can do with it. A lot of times I talk about how a domain name is, a domain name is great for uh, showing authority. Like if you have a great domain name, it shows authority, which awareness and authority are the two pieces of marketing. Those, everything boils down to those two umbrellas, those two pieces of marketing. So if you can be more authoritative by having a great domain name, uh, then so be it. I'm featured, I'm a featured topguides.com travel or tour guide. I'm a featured topguides.com, uh, I, I have no idea. Uh, I, I have a guide to the, the Louvre or something and uh, it's featured on topguides.com. I, I don't, however you wanna do it. So you have, various guides. You have tour guides, people that guide you places. You also have audio guides that you can download. So what are the top guides for those? You have paper guides, travel guides, TV guides. 
but I don't, <laughs> don't know if anybody actually uses that kind of thing. All of those things can be ranked and listed on the site, paid advertising or paid to be featured or listed in a top guides directory. All of that can be done with it. A lot of, uh, lot of opportunities for that domain specifically. So uh, topguides.com, if you can get that one for a few hundred dollars, certainly worth uh, getting just the flexibility of development on it. That's one that you can take that a bunch of different ways, but a great domain name is gonna provide authority and or validation. And that domain name provides an opportunity for you to uh, validate small businesses. It's not about your validation. That's important to, to note. You are not being validated. You're using that brand of topguides.com to validate your advertisers, your members, the people that list on your site they're getting the validation. You were saying, hey, as topguides.com, we validate this company or this person as a top guide. See, see that? Like, it's not about you. It's about them using your domain name to get something. That's, that's an, important, uh, an important characteristic there. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that makes sense. Topguides.com. A lot of good brandables, but you know, uh, let's see how just lengthwise creating connection. I, I like those kind of phrases, but code girls, air bonds, click start. That sounds like it's trying to get too close to a last week. We had a uh, sex therapy this week. We have sex wellness. Pain Society. It's just people that jump in the ice cold water. Sorry, I need to use page down to try to keep it from bouncing too much for you. And if you are following along and you see one that you think that I should mention or that you're interested in, I'm happy to run through a, 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 biz, a, a three minute business plan on it while we're here. And it occurred to me that earlier in the chat, Uh, somebody you had posted before we went live, uh, are expired domains in demand was the question. Are expired domain names in demand? Uh, and I think we've already shown some examples, like for example, buyboats.com, uh, 333 visits to the domain name, over $3,000 already for that auction. Uh, let's see if it shows number of bids. Yeah, for some reason, it's, oh, here we go. Uh, 22 bidders are bidding on that domain name, 110 bids. So yes, uh, it, it, to answer that question specifically, uh, in this world that is NFT crazy, crypto crazy, tons of money going around, domain names are freaking it. They are still under the radar, lots of opportunity, not because of the domain name, but because of what you can build on that domain name. Uh, the domain name is a blank canvas. I mean, a blank canvas is nothing. Uh, you know, an empty wall without a mural on it is nothing. So a domain name is just a matter of like validation and authority and anything you put on it can suddenly be more validated, more authoritative uh, and be shared because there's only one domain name. Anyhow, so NFTs, for example, if you're on Twitter, you've probably seen a bunch of stuff about NFTs and realistically, I've not messed with them at all. I'm not a big fan of most of them, but a lot of people are making a lot of money on them. The whole thing, it, here's a rant for you. People are buying NFTs because somebody created something. They took a number and they associated some kind of art with that number, but the art is what people are buying. Like the number is not. So you can buy great real estate for a domain name but as a developer, developing a domain name is what brings the value. Without it, it's a ten dollar a year you know domain name. Uh, it's all, you know you're paying for the authority, the awareness, the uh, possibly traffic, possible search engine juice. You're paying for all the brandable aspects of a domain name. Uh, but you have to create something. You have to develop something on it. Otherwise, it's just a just a number. So the creation is what gives stuff value. 
recommend uh recommended books i love that one look how long it is but who cares recommendedbooks.com like i i uh uh so like recommended books i love when i'm reading uh an author somebody that i just i enjoy their uh, their writing uh just recently uh, i follow somebody on twitter naval n-a-v-a-l is their twitter handle highly recommend you follow them uh but the tweets just as he's thinking, as he's learning himself. And uh, somebody took all his tweets and did an interview with them. And he has a book called uh, The Almanac of Naval or something like that. And in that, towards the end, is a list of all of his recommended reading. Like, what should you read? What does he recommend you read? Boom, put that on recommendedbooks.com. And there you go. Recommended books of Naval. Like, you can do those for free, or you could even, you know, you can have Oprah put all Oprah's books up there. Like you can do it as long as you're not trying to say that she's promoting something through there. You can just list them out, but then you can have people that pay to uh, feature their book or feature their list or something to try to use the, you know, the domain name for their status. There, there's options for it, but just in general, I, you know, it's great, uh, great domain name. I think you put up the, a free tool or a really cheap tool would be a great opportunity just to develop something, just to play around with something. And if you can get that for you know a couple hundred bucks, then why not? I think a couple hundred bucks is well worth, think about if you wanna go do woodworking, right? So you wanna go start getting into woodworking. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go buy freaking tools and I guarantee you're gonna spend a couple hundred bucks on your new woodworking hobby. Uh, one of my programmers, Chaz, he is starting to get into Raspberry Pi and he's trying to figure out how to program circuit boards and stuff. You know what he's going to do? He's going to spend a couple hundred bucks on stuff for that. When you get these hobbies or these ideas or these things you want to do, you're going to spend a couple hundred bucks. So if you're going to get into domain development, be prepared to spend a couple hundred bucks. Ideally, spend it on a domain and actually develop it, though. Don't just get it and sit it in a portfolio like, uh, like so many of us do. <laughs> I have so many domains. It's like I'm trying to develop them all as fast as I can, but ultimately I'm not that good. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hopefully that makes sense. Like, so when I say a domain name is cheap at a couple hundred bucks, if it's a good enough domain name, if you can get recommendedbooks.com for the purpose of a hobby to put together a free tool, you're going to learn so much. And uh, it's going to be well worth that couple hundred dollars to uh, to do that. So uh, cost planning, video visuals. I just got back from lunch just a little bit ago. And so I, I had no coffee today on the broadcast. I usually have coffee. I'm really freaking juiced, actually. Lots, lots of coffee. Speaking of juice, juicerreviews.com. See what I did there? Uh, no, it's, uh, I, I would say, in reality, juicer reviews, there's some, it's a very niche market. If you're interested in it, you could certainly get it. Let's see what the price is going for. Uh, these kind of plays, uh, you know, these kind of sites can be developed for cheap. Uh, you won't make much, but if you say you get this for 150 bucks and you put up a couple of reviews with some Amazon affiliate links, and that makes a couple hundred bucks a year. And you spend, you know, four hours to develop it out, basically put up a, you know, $5, 10 $15 a month WordPress site or something. Who knows? You maybe never have to touch it again. And it makes a few hundred bucks a year. And you make some money and had fun and learned a lot while you developed juicerreviews.com. Uh, when I see domain names, when you got the double R in there, it gets a little dicey. I I, I, pref I I don't like double R's. I don't like, uh, you, you'll have people that will try to type one. Uh, you always have to proper case it like you see here with the lowercase r, uppercase r. Okay, let's keep moving here. Are we still on the first page? Photography portraits. Yeah. Studio sold up. Moments marketing. Brandable. 
wild rooster. I just was seeing your, your, uh, up oh, here we go. This comment here, Kevin over up oh, that side, uh, wild rooster. I, I didn't see that domain name. Yeah. There's, there's so many good brandables mixed in here. What do we got here? Matt, uh, is popular Twitch term, is it? You're thinking video game streamers. Who knows? Let's. Can I even spell juicer? Juicer reviews. Let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe juicers are way underrated. And uh, I mean, there. Well, okay. So here's what we're looking at. So we have a reasonable volume. So it's a niche keyword volume. Uh, so 1,600 people search for it each month. And you might think that's a really low number. Uh, I mean, there's a reason it's going to be a couple hundred dollar domain name versus thousands of dollars. And for a couple hundred bucks, you might be able to get this. So in this case, you'll see, you'll take that 1600 bucks, you'll multiply it by, uh, you know, one third. So one third of 1600 bucks is kind of what you're looking at. It's kind of almost a retail type price. So it's going to go for cheap and hopefully you get it for cheap. But like I said, it's, it's going to be a niche domain. I don't, let's see if we got any streamer keywords in here. Yeah, I got nothing. Juicer reviews, juicer, juice body. I, these are some weird, I, I don't, I, I don't even know what these words mean. <laughs> I feel like I could be uh, part of somebody's inside joke. If I keep going down that line of uh, dealer quotes, change the subject if you didn't notice. Dealer quotes. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was page one. Oh my dear goodness. I try to be a little faster than that. We've, I guess, page one. There's always some good domains on it, so it'll probably slow down or uh, speed up as of this point. Fifteen minutes left. I want to. I don't really have any specific topics. Now, uh, last week, if you didn't check it out, we talked about a little bit of no code. Uh, developing with no code. Uh, we will talk about that more in the future, but about half the time I'm traveling. And uh, when I'm traveling, I just, sometimes I'll get a little carried away with the topic. Otherwise I just like to look at the domains, do, do what I do, do what we do. Pond map kind of is an interesting domain, but more of a brandable than anything else. So, grainbusiness.com I have a big long rant on that on a book that I was listening to on the plane but uh, the book is um, The Rational Optimist I'll just leave it there and not go into the rant Home Ride Brandable isn't it funny how we're probably looking at the same list and I look at one and I'm like ooh that's kind of cool. And you're probably like looking at completely different ones going, Ooh, that's a good domain name. It's funny how we all uh, see different things. Nothing wrong with it. That's why not every domain is bought by the same people. So. Okay. I'm only going to this lab, this page here. So if we don't find some home runs, we will wrap this baby up, put a bow on it. Bestedibles.com. That sounds like fun. I'm in Las Vegas with recreational cannabis. You know, there's probably a lot of people here searching for best edibles. Is that spelled right? Let's see. I have to always double check my spe my spelling here. So uh, I'm notoriously the world's worst speller. Ooh, booyah. Okay, so... I'm not sure if you're allowed to bid on the keyword edibles. Uh, that's probably what's happening here. Uh, I know that cannabis, you can't do a lot of advertising for stuff, but that almost makes, that's why this is even more important. So when you find these different keywords, cannabis and different, uh, there's different keywords out there that you cannot pay to advertise for them. What that means is you have an opportunity to build a brand. So this actually increases the value of this domain name, in my opinion, because people want to spend money advertising as the best edible. But Google's not taking their money. Facebook isn't taking their money. 
there's not a place to send their money. So build out bestedibles.com and they'll send their money to you. I mean, it makes sense to me. 3,600 people searching for best edibles, best edibles 2020, uh, best edibles for female arousal, 1,300 searches, best you know, like, boom. I mean, the content writes itself. Uh, so needless to say, it's going to get my starter love bid here of 188. Don't bid me up. It ends in se seven days. I guarantee that domain name will end up uh, going for some pretty good money, but uh, it's a good domain. So, okay, let's break it down in the, in, in the form of a three minute business plan here. Cause I haven't done this in a while. So let's, uh, let's talk about it this way. Hopefully it's going to be pulling up. Here we go up. Oh, my camera's not up for it. Uh, so just ignore the camera not working and look over to the side there. You'll see the three minute business plan, which you can download from down below. And what that is going to do is, uh, basically, uh, three minute business plan for best edibles. The domain name is bestedibles.com. And what we want to do is uh, we want to, who's our audience? The audience are going to be people that are just wanting to know the best edibles and uh, the best edibles for the, uh, you know, for their different purposes, right? So for example, they are looking for uh, best edibles for, email arousal or whatever that keyword and stuff was. So you put together those lists based on maybe visitor feedback. So your audience are people that are looking for the best edibles, but also looking for uh, your audience would also be your market would be uh, those who are looking to sell their edibles or list their edibles. The problem is they can't pay to advertise. So they want to pay somebody now there's a reason Google and Facebook won't take their money. So you do probably want to uh, watch out a bit and make sure you're not uh, crossing a line. So you may want to check with the lawyer on uh, whether you're allowed to accept advertisement from them, but you figure something out. Uh, solution being uh, they can advertise, they can list their products uh, or whatever on your website. You could also do something like, uh, it's not actually the edible that's ranked. It is the, uh, it's not the edible that's ranked. It's the, um, their website, like you're ranking their website, not the actual edible or something like that. You could find some loophole in language that may be able to help you out with that. So this is the three minute business plan. So down below is that URL that you can use to uh, download it. It's just a way of make, helping you, you know, think about the audience, the market, what problem uh, do they have that you can solve? What's your solution? And then how are you gonna sell it? I think that uh, the nice thing about Best Edibles is that domain name is, uh, it sells itself. So, uh, you know, we're ranked number three on bestedibles.com. Authority, validation, all the things that we love in a, a great uh, domain name. So is edibles.com better? Yes, but uh, actually, I don't know if it is. I mean, you're, you're going to compete with top edibles, best edibles, um, buy edibles. All of those are going to be great domain names. If you have them all, then so be it. So, okay. So, I, obviously, I'm excited about edibles. We we just recently, we, we've been buying some cannabis uh, domain names, partly because, like I said, I, I like to have domains where people are having fun. And also for medical reasons, you know, people need that stuff for medical reasons. I know people. In fact, I want to <laughs> no, I, it's, it's true. We all know that though. We're all trendy, smart domain people. Okay. Eight minutes to the top of the hour. I'm going to bring somebody on to do the, the weather. Weather on the eights. Okay. Well, there we go. I think we found some great domain names. What do you think? I think we found some great domain names. Uh, hopefully you found something that like me, I didn't know about these domain names until just today, just today. So the bids that I placed really were me being like, Hey, this is a great domain name. So 
uh, as always, bid what you value a domain name at. Uh, you know, I will probably not win any of those domain names. I, I don't know. I, I'm actually not very active right now as a buyer. So, uh, so I would like, I always want the person to win a domain name that is going to develop it. So if you have a heart for development, an interest in developing a domain name, buy it for development. Because ultimately, that's why we do this show. That's why I do this is I want more domains to be developed. If I buy it realistically, it's likely going to be on my shelf for a year or more. And that's just, it's like against, it's against my value. I want these freaking domains to be developed. So what's it take to be a developer? Not much. You need the domain name. These domains, I say they're like, you know, rocket ships of these SpaceX ships just sitting on the launch pad and they're all fueled up. They're ready to go. In all of these cases, you know, bestedibles.com, juicereviews.com, uh, all of these domain names, they tell you what content is going to be on that domain name. Now it's just a matter of whether you are the person that buys the domain name, develops it out to provide the world what that domain name is meant to be. You know, best edibles, recommendedbooks.com, topguides.com, uh, boatslip.com. I don't know if we really talked about that. I think I was looking up to see if it was, no, that was not available. That's what it was. Okay, so, and then buyantiques.com. Great domain names we get brought to you today. Hopefully, some of you either got some last week, some of these this week, and you're able to develop them, bring some value to the world, or if nothing else, hopefully uh, we get them and can, can, you know, develop them, make some money off of them. It's not always about the money. It doesn't even matter how much money you, you make off these. One last rant on that idea. You don't have to make thousands of dollars from a domain name. I, I just saw a, uh, a tweet just recently. Somebody was taking emoji domain names and he developed it out to where he was. I, I, you know, I need to, I wish I could look. I'm going to look it up. Uh, so basically you can get his, you can have an email address at a emoji domain name which I own no emoji domain names, have zero interest in emoji domain names. Um, but let me see, I'm just pulling up this tweet here so I can share this out on the screen. So one more time. So here is, the, uh, here is this tweet. Uh, it's this guy named Ben Stokes, Tiny Projects. And he doesn't even need great domain names. He's just developing stuff. And what he did was, you can see here, he bought 300 emoji domain names, but he started with just a few. And he details it here in this blog post. Uh, essentially, uh, he bought the domain names, or these emoji domain names, set up an email forwarding. So you can get like Drew at, you know, the rocket emoji dot KN or something like that. And that could be your emoji. And it's just for fun, just for the fun of it. And uh, the beauty of it is, uh, I think he makes eight bucks a year per, what's going on here? My, my camera's messed up. Okay, so he makes like eight bucks a year from uh, these various, uh, my computer knows it's top of the hour and it's starting to wig out. So uh, he, he, for eight dollars a year or something, you get this email forward, and uh, he's only made he's only made like a thousand some dollars per year. Like he's not going to get rich off of it, but he learned so much. And you'll see in that blog post how he started something. He was just like, you know, I did this, and I just wondered if I could do this. So he would do that, and he tried new things over and over and over again. Uh, and all the inform all that he learned in that process, now he can apply it somewhere else in addition to making a few thousand dollars a year. That's it. Like it's it it can be for fun. And now he's using those domain names, uh, which probably would never be used by somebody else. He's using them to bring value to the world and add a little fun to other people's lives, which I think is just great. So uh hopefully you can put something together like that. Uh it doesn't have to be for profit. Uh, we talk about for business here, but hey, a few thousand dollars can be profit. It doesn't need to be some kind of uh, goal to be a, a billionaire or something like that. So I very much appreciate you joining me here uh, today. 
you know, sorry about the sound issues at the beginning. So if you've stuck with me, hopefully you've gotten some, seen some great domain names, some inside information, and I will see you back here next week at 3 p.m. as we do from Domain to Profit back in Cincinnati at our home court. So see you then.